Pine Dempster's getting loose with Harold Reynolds. Oh, we got a pitching it, demo. Where's the plenty out guys? here? Take it away, boys. I mean, he breaks off a breaking ball on me. I'm like, come on, you gotta be kidding me. I'll tell you what, one of the fun things that I want to exhibit for you folks at home is seeing a real major league pitch thrown at you. How often you heard, oh, he should have hit that. What's he doing? Right? A lot. <laughs> you know, how do you not hit that breaking ball? It's spinning in the middle oh of the Oh, my plate. gosh, it's right there hanging. All right, I want to show you Max Scherzer today because they had some great video of him. And there's some shots in here. When you see that ball exploding, you see the movement. And there's one shot in here where you see the depth on that hook. And you get one from behind you that just jumps on you before you blink. That ball exploding. And so, yeah, Ryan Dempster. Hadn't been that long since you threw, right? Uh, not that long. It hurts a little bit more now, but yeah. I love it. So I, I think what, what you're talking about, too, like you saw that highlight of Scherzer. There was so much life on his fastball today, right? Yes. And like we get so caught up in pitchers going fastball. Now the wristband says on a one fastball, I should throw a breaking ball off that. And on the one oh wristband, it says that sometimes the best thing we can do is be the aggressor. I talked about in there. Max Scherzer is the aggressor. It's here you go. Here you go. Yeah. That's how you get the chases on the breaking ball. And then what he does really well, too, is a lot of times, which we don't see in that highlight, is through that, he'll spin in a breaking ball and just drop one in for a strike. Because now, as you know, as a hitter, as soon as I start to throw my breaking ball for strikes, you're like, now i got to respect that pitch. If That's you never right. throw it over the plate, then I can eliminate that pitch. But even hitter. before that, you have to see it. Yeah. And this is what I love. I'm going to walk you down this way. Because we got it set up. Mr. Dempster's going to throw some pitches. You're loose. Yeah, you I'm, loose. I'm, I'm not going to catch loose. him. Yeah. So we, we're going to recreate this. We did this years ago with, with Al Leiter and his cutter. We got the plexiglass set up here. And this is what it's going to look like for you at home, folks. So like what are you throwing? You I'm call out throw, the pitch I'm, and I'm, deliver. I'm going to throw just a nice four-seam fastball. I'm going to try and throw it and get it there, right? All right. So we're just going four-seam fastball. Just like uh -huh. that. Yeah, there you go. You know, Off the plate, in a little bit. All right, let's get it to it. Here we go. All right, just to give you an idea, there's that one he struck on Sosa up and away with. Yep. Now you get a sinker. This ball's going to sink down and in a little bit. See how it sinks? It's got that little bit of sink. So now Good off movement. of that, I'm going fastball up, sinker. This is just going to be like a get me over little slider. That's all I'm trying to do is just get this pitch in for a strike. Let's see if I can do this. It's actually a pretty go. good little slider, by the way. That was a really good slider. Good depth on that one. You know, you got to remember, I haven't thrown a bullpen in a while. It's all right. Here's a little slider for a strike. There you Bottom go. of the zone. Bottom of the zone slider. So, Are you seeing this at home? That's all I want to see. See how that ball's moving at the last second? And then you get, you get different speeds. So off of that slider, say, for example, if you get a guy and he's a little bit out front, Maybe he's maybe fouls that pitch off. Yeah. Max has the ability because he throws a curveball and a slider to go, oh, like he did to Trey Turner, where he goes a little bit slower. So say you're going breaking ball, and then you're going a little bit more of a, a break more bite to it, right? To it. Yeah, a little, little more bubble. Now all of a sudden you're going, oh, I want to throw something with a little bit of movement to it, like he did to Schwarber where he threw that cutter. So now what you do is you just go cutter under the hands like you're throwing to a lefty down there, right? Yep. Maybe bring it up a little bit. Most hitters will spit on a pitch like that, no doubt, so I'm going to go a little higher. That's a backdoor cutter. Yeah, you see, it. you see it cut, though. That's the main thing. So you've shown us five different pitches, but here's yeah. the deal. If we're looking at stats at home and you go curveball, fastball, not everyone's the same. You already showed us three different breaks on your curveball. Yep. And so, and some guys will do that too early on in the game, mm, right? They They'll throw every it. pitch, and now all of a sudden, you want to know why guys can't get through the third time in the lineup? Well, because a hitter has seen everything. You ask you, you ask CY over there, yeah. you grab the guys around here who can hit. Yeah. If you show that breaking ball that many times, and so what Max does a really good job of is maybe in an at-bat, you get one breaking ball. You right. saw what he did to Trey Turner. He struck him out on a slow curveball, and then he went slider because yep. – as a hitter who's already seen that, you know that. You, you log that in the back of your head. No doubt. Right? But where it starts was in those first at-bats, maybe he just throws you all fastballs. Yeah. And so you're seeing that. So let's go. Just to give you an idea, I'm going to try and get a couple fastballs, middle of the plate, four-seam spin. So at home, you can just kind of see it. I'm going to let it loose a little bit. Okay. That one's inside on a righty. 
here we go, another one. All right, now I'm, now I'm 0-2, right? Let's say 1-1, one, one. the first pitch was a ball up and in, now I'm strike, 1-1. One, one. Okay. I went fastball, fastball, hitters' brains have to go. I gotta register that heat. If they're, gotta, if they're I'm, registering. I'm registering. If they're not guessers, if a guy's yep. on, if he's a fastball, I hit the fastball, I stay on the fastball, I never get off the fastball. You have now established speed in his mind. You yes. have said, here's 93, here's 94. I like to dream. I can still throw yeah. that hard, but you know what I'm saying. Now, now all of a sudden I get one one. I got to run around first, and I need that double play ball, and I just go. Boom! You cut. can see that break, that little yeah. bit of break. Now what happens is I've geared you up to swing. Swing fastball, swing fastball. You just threw me a slider. Now you go swing fastball, but it's a strike. See that pitch was that pitch was strike to ball. We talk about that all the time. Strike to ball. These hitters are so good nowadays at recognizing mm -hmm. out of the hand and whether or not it's a strike or a ball. That yeah. if you're ball to ball, nothing. Nothing. I'm spitting on that. You know, there's Javi, Javi. We see Javi take some crazy. Javi Baez takes some crazy swings on pitches that were ball to ball right away. But when you go strike to ball, and all I've shown you is fastballs. That is so hard to lay off of. It yeah. is so hard, and it's so hard to get strong contact unless you're thinking so much the other way to be able to stay on that pitch. Okay, so so show me different breaks on the breaking pitch. Give me a slider. Okay. You, so, you showed me a hard slider. You showed me a backdoor slider what, already. What kind of slider are we looking for? You know, for? We, we always hear about the sweeper, right? Yeah. A big sweep on the slider. Is that all it is? Yeah, and I think what's happened and evolved with that pitch is that that was always thrown. Yes. And the terminology I think used is that the sweeper being, I want this pitch, we used to say front door slider. Right. And by front door, I mean if I'm a right-handed hitter and I'm sitting here, I want to throw that slider here. Starting here and it's yeah. going to break back here. And the rule of thumb Off was of don't throw it with two strikes because these guys, you don't want to throw it and be strikes, strike breaking ball with two strikes, right. they're good hitters. But what you're seeing these guys do is through the pitch labs and these rhapsodos and all these machines and the things we can do, track man, to be able to track spin, and you find things in your hand and the grip, it's basically like starting it. So this is gonna be more of a kind of a sweeper. I'm gonna try and start this on the right hand of batter, you know, on his batter's box and see if I can get it to finish away. Let's see if we can. You see how that's yep. got a little bit yeah. more of a sweep to it. And yeah. all that is, is not necessarily, you're not, you shouldn't change your arm action because that's how things get hurt. Right, and that's what I see as a hitter. As a hitter, all of a sudden you just stop because you're like, that's funny. Yeah, that doesn't look right. So it, all it is is pressure, grip. So changing your grip a little bit. If, if you throw your slider and you got a slider grip and all I do is I just move my hand a little bit, now I can throw the same exact arm action, but because my hand is underneath the ball a little bit, I create that sweep to the baseball versus staying on top and down on top of that baseball. Now I get that whoosh, Hard See, and, slider. And, and it gives me, as a hitter, something else to look at. If you throw me a slider, I'm looking fastball, I can adjust to that slider. It's just breaking a little bit. Yep. The sweep gives me a bigger break. There's more of it's almost like a slurve. Remember the slurve we used to say? Yep. That was between a curveball and a slider. Call it a slurve. That's a big breaking slider. And that's really what this is kind of it. Well, but it's a different speed, too. And it is a different speed, and not everybody can throw it. Like, some guys yeah. th can throw a sweeper, quote, unquote, and you're going to get yourself in some trouble because just the way your arm action is, the way it comes out of your hand, you know, some guys can short arm in a slider. That's the only pitch they need. And, you know, s sometimes I think we, we forget that the ability of – throwing multiple different breaking balls and how important that is. We've gotten so caught up and that's your breaking pitch. But you can see today with Max, he went slow curveball. He went the slider. He went the cutter. And then he's going this way and it just becomes really hard. Like ultimately what you're looking for is you, you got a baseball. Here, go right here with it. Right. And you're coming. Where are we going? Right, go here? right at Steve because yeah. we're going to go right out okay. of this. To so, so if that ball, you talk about tunneling and you have two pitches, one after another, Marcus Stroman is doing this as good as anybody in baseball right now. Is this right here. You want two pitches, you want them to go like this. That's what you're looking for. Roy Halladay, right? Yep. Sinker, sinker, cutter, sinker, slider. It's like I got whoop. So now as a hitter, if, it's, if they're looking tunnel and it's coming in and you can make it go either way, if this pitch is bleh, and this pitch is going like this, they're going to just lay off the, the, the dumpy curveball, you know, the one that just spins in there, or they'll look for it to be up in the zone. But when you can have them being almost like as if there's two baseballs, you don't know which way they're going to go, and they go this, this way, or whoop, 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 whoop. So tunneling, and, and when you have the sweeper, now all of a sudden you're bringing, but in order to have the sweeper be successful, 
you have to throw inside. You have to be able to throw inside for command because if the only time I ever see anything at me or inside is a sweeper, as a hitter, these guys are just going to be like, whap, okay. And that's just commanding your fastball. It all starts with commanding your fastball. You still got it. That was good stuff. <laughs>